Tyler and Ninja here for iClamc.com, and I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to use a faction system. So, the first thing is how to get to the faction's world, because it is on a separate map. So, if you're in the normal world, what you're going to want to do is just type slash spawn, and you'll be in this area over here, okay, and the faction's portal is right over to the right of the spot. So, right here. Just walk through it, and now we're inside the factions area. So you're probably wondering right now, what is a faction now? A faction is a sort of group that you could put together and invite people, and you guys can claim land together, PvP, other factions, and um, have user-controlled griefing or anti-griefing. So um, basically. It's a, it's a pretty neat system, um, you'll be able to do lots of cool things in it and play around with your friends. So, um, first I will show you how to create a faction. So I'm going to type F, create, and then our faction name, which will be that, okay? You know we have numbers and letters inside your faction tag, and it costs 30 tokens to create a new faction. You can check how many tokens you have with slash money. So now that I created a faction, whenever I type, it's going to say death beside my name. And there is two stars beside it, which means I'm owner. If there's one star beside it, it means they're mod, and if there's no stars, they're just an ordinary person in the faction. So now, how to claim land. You can open up a map by typing F map. And it will show a map, it might be confusing at first, but the direction over here on the compass, the direction that the red is the direction you're facing, and you see this area over here with the white slashes, that's knights, which is a different faction. The orange pluses are safe areas, and the red is uh, war zones. So we're going to come over here, we're in the wilderness right now, which is uh, basically open area for anyone to use or claim. And uh, if we open the map again, it's going to show us as that sort of uh, cyan plus right there, okay? So now I want to claim some territory for my faction. So I'm going to type F claim. It's going to tell me that I do not have enough tokens and it costs 7 tokens to claim this land, okay? So each faction has its own bank account. And you can view the bank account um, commands by typing F space money. So I'm going to check my balance first. So F money and B for balance. And it says zero tokens, so I'll deposit by typing F money, B, and then a thousand. So I just deposited, deposited a thousand tokens to my faction. So that means we're going to have enough to buy this land. So F coin. And now we have enough. So when I'm in my faction land, it says de death and default faction description. You can set your faction description by typing F, D, E, S, C for description. And then uh, say uh, death and everyone. Alright, so now I'm going to leave this area right here again. And enter it again, and it's going to show in the top right hand corner, death owns everyone in my description, okay? So, with um, areas like this, it's completely protected from other factions. All your chests are locked, your doors are protected. Um, only The only people that can modify this area now is people inside death. So, you're probably thinking that people can abuse this by going and claiming a ton of territory if they have a lot of money. But there's actually a thing to prevent this. If we type F show, it's going to show info about my faction. And under total land, or no, land power and max power, it says 1, 10, and 10. Land is the amount of land I own. Power is the amount of power of all your members combined. And max power is the maximum power of all your members. So you're probably wondering what power is. Um, I can see my power by typing F power. And basically, power, you gain it by playing. Everyone starts at zero power out of ten. 
And if you die, you lose 3 power. And you gain power just by playing. So, um, every few minutes you play, you're gonna gain some power. So, let me get up here. Uh, I was vanished right there, so. There we go. Um, oh, I need some food. So, that's how you claim land. Uh, basically, with the power system, if I invite another person, their power is going to add to mine. So, say um, I invite someone who has 8 power out of 10, it's going to say my land is 1, my power is 18, and my max power is 20. So, you can only claim as much land as you have power. So, since I have 10 power, I'm only able to claim up to 10 land chunks before it doesn't let me until I get more power, okay? So this prevents tiny little factions to like own half the world. Um, each land chunk is 16 by 16 by 128, up and down. So um, it's a pretty decent size. But the thing is, uh, you do not want to own as much land as the power you have because if you die, you lose power. So say I own 10 land chunks and my power is 10. If I die, I'm going to be at 7 power instead of 10 and my land will still be at 10. So since I have more land than power in that case, people will actually be able to claim from my land like other factions. Um, I'm not going to go deep into that right now, but basically you're going to want to say at less land than power just to be safe. So um, there's other things you could do with your land, like set owners and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that right now because it's going to make the guide really long. So the next part that I'm going to go into is um, enemies, allies, and stuff like that. So if you look at someone's tag for their uh, faction, it's either going to be white, red, green, purple, or orange. So... um green so when I type it's going to show up in green green means that it's a faction that you're in so if I invite someone to this faction and they type it's going to show up in green red means your enemies with them you can declare an enemy by typing F enemy and in their name so knights let's be enemies of knights okay so um purple is allies you have to request an ally by typing F ally and in their name and then they have to also request an ally so both of you um, accept the ally because uh, only one nation or only one faction can decide you only need one faction to want to be enemies to both be enemies with each other but you need both factions to want to be allies to be allies with each other um, if you're Enemies, you're allowed to PvP anywhere inside the factions world, okay? Other than safe areas. This includes killing people inside their homes. So if I'm in my enemy land, I can go and kill them if I want, but the, the catch about it is that I'm going to do 30% less damage inside their land, so they have an advantage. And also, it's not going to let me do things like home and warp and stuff like that in enemy territory. So I'm not going to be able to teleport away. So they have a big advantage, so you have to be careful about that. Because when they kill you, they're, you're going to lose power. So, yeah, they have quite a bit of advantage in their land. Um, if the tag is orange, it means they're a peaceful faction. And basically that means they don't want to participate in PvP. You can't hurt them, they can't hurt you. They're just going to mind their own business and claim land and build and stuff like that. So, um, the faction system isn't very complicated. There's a lot more to do with it. And also there is, uh, chat channels for your ally and your, uh, faction. So if I do F space C for chat, and then, um, just type that, it's going to toggle between them. So it's going to go to ally first, then it's going to faction, and then it's going to go to public. Or I can type F, C, and then A for ally, or F, C, F for faction or F, C, P for public, and it's going to switch between them. So if I type in faction chat, 
blah, blah, blah. It's going to show up to only my faction members. So that's a basic tutorial for factions. There's a lot more complex stuff you could do. You can view the help by typing F space H and we're changed pages by F, H, and then page number. And there's lots of interesting things you could do, so um, I hope you guys all try out Factions. Uh, it's a pretty neat system, and uh, have fun playing I Play MC. Uh, I'm Ninja again, and if you need any help, just feel free to ask inside the game or on I Play OG forums, and I will be here to help.